talk to me talk to me talk to me check me out on this one i'm talking top five to represent the u.s right now i mean elite top dogs nothing but the best who we finna have up in that lineup huh schizo who he called you a cowboy what did he mean what are you no i'm going to kill you just a humble bounty hunter man yeah, 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 yo, what's going on, y'all? How y'all living, man? Is everybody good? You understand what I'm saying? Because you know I'm finna, huh? Take a, wait a minute, take a, huh? Take a good, quick look at y'all real fast. Yeah, <laughs> Is y'all? Sweet! Pete, man, Schizo has been holding it down within the U.S. for such a long time. The dude is basically like an icon here in the States. And I want to get closer to the source material to see what y'all motherfuckers is on. Because y'all be campaigning like Schizo needs to be one of the people to represent. And I ain't knocking it. I ain't mad at it. But I feel like I need to see more of the source material. You know what I mean? I done see some shit. You know what I mean? Here and there. But I feel like with this one right here, it's going to tell me a little something. something. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let the doc go ahead and do what the doc do. Get the wind up going. Ooh, blow. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's see how many of these I know. I know this one. Schizo, do what you do. Way to start the round, sir. We have a problem. Nice. Smooth. Nice. Oh. Yeah, that was crazy. Even just within this first round. He has a lot of criteria checked off in the performance aspect and, and battle-like mentality. Nice, nice, nice. Who don't know this? I think this one really like... I don't know. I can't really call it. This battle did a lot though. He said boop boop. God damn. Huh? This shit is nasty as fuck. Oh. Damn. Nah, I ain't gonna front, man. I ain't gonna front right now. Nah. Nah, my fault. My fault. I gotta put respect on this nigga. This shit is hard. I know there's things about his dance that I recognize, but I can't deny what he's putting out though. That's just first and foremost. I can't deny that. We saw this. Stops is mad fucking crisp. Damn. 
Maybe Schizo got up out the scene and let motherfuckers catch up a little bit. Cause damn, that one right there was crazy. Nice, nice, nice. A few different things come to mind when I think about what I'm seeing in these rounds. Uh oh, what are we talking about? In Jesus' name. Nice. I don't know. He reminds me a lot of Larry, bro. Like this era of schizo it's a lot of sharp fast movement doesn't really sit anything but it's because he accents a lot of these sounds i don't know that looks like a larry round a larry influence round i should say not to take away from him but the display of movement was very fast whoa and he has crazy moves though man nice Versatility within the delivery. I wish I could see what happened because the camera is shaking like a motherfucker. Damn. Whoa, that was crazy. That was crazy with the twist to the rotation. That was nasty. We back at Fusion Concept. See, when Schizo win that all black, hey, man. <laughs> hey, man, God might not be able to save you. Huh? That was nasty. What the fuck? Ugh, nice. What? What? I know, I know what I would talk about already. The differences, but it's like it doesn't matter though because what he still applies is a weapon. Yeah, yeah, this is interesting to me. This is interesting. Share. Nah, I'm seeing him in a different way though. <laughs> Too. 
the porch, holy my run the show. It's music, voodoo, I don't know, but don't confuse me. Look the angel, I'm dead. He loves lyrics. Nice. Nice. I wish these camera angles would stop fucking it up. Nice. Can't see nothing. You got to redo this whole round. Yeah, there's there's definitely elements within his dance that I would rather have be more of something that he focused on, but. The delivery of his dance is the thing that I think is special. See Diablo, Stala Muerte in the back. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. People fucking with him too, man. I love it. That's calm, that's calm. Y'all put this up? The first round was good though. The first, the first round was good. That part was so... It, it just hit so hard the way he... The way he hit the nice and it, it goes on from here. Because the things that I recognize about Schizo in this round, it's further clarified because the amount of videos I've seen him in thus far, it gives me more reason to believe what I thought was more so a round thing. I see the patterns of it in other rounds that he did in other videos. I think just song choice or maybe just that day in some videos he was able to deliver it better. But that round felt mad fast. Mad fast in terms of like the speed changes and how he tries to deliberate his movement between the lyrics and when he wants to go back on beat. But in certain instances, specifically for that round, like there's a part of the song where it's like records on records on and he tries to like match it, but it just looks like it's so it's so sped up to the point where it's not really controlled and it's just body parts are moving. It doesn't really look well put together as well as still being in rhythm to the consistent part of the beat. But aside from that, yeah, man, I definitely see the 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 hype behind Schizo. You know what I mean? Like I've always seen his work, but I never really watched Oh Boy, especially like in in a video where I seen so many different videos all compiled into one. However, like the things that I started to gravitate to was for sure he's a person that knows how to perform or like showcase his movement in a way that's best for him so i feel like when you do that automatically you're in a better mental space you're in a better mental space to display your shit you get what i'm saying like some people are so caught up in the fundamentals or so caught up in representing the style or doing things 
that are more so like mirroring mirroring or copying that of someone that they're seeing or watching or imitating to the point that it's restrictive because they don't know how to let loose and be themselves whereas like i feel like schizo tapped into something at an early age and was able to develop it and be very comfortable within his movement to showcase it in the way that he does to make him a special individual just because you get a sense of him amongst his his dance you get what i mean so i got the demonstration of movement and what i also felt like was something that was i don't know if it's ever been emphasized and i would either i would even want to have a conversation with him to get more insight for like the thoughts or the the mentality for his dance but his illusionary practices within his dance i feel like that's always been the the key aspect to what he does because there's a lot of there's a lot of techniques within his gliding with obviously within the flexing aspects or bone breaking i should say and then in terms of like the animation ish type control he he knows how to sit in those pockets and bounce off of different sounds but not never really lose that that illusion so amongst the spaces of the the rounds that he was in and he would do things with his neck or he would he would like change up his speed and his tempo to go like a shootout and it would look crazy and then he would have his legs floating it would just be different emphasis on movement and the illusions that he incorporates with the movement to make it all kind of have that aesthetic that he has with it so i i give him respect for that i think the main thing in terms of like what i never really gravitated to amongst his dance was the fact that it it was so choppy or it was so it, it wasn't really completion of moves that he would really throw out i look at him as more of like a freestyler like he's just being free moving whereas like he'll do like i talked to you guys about like a memphis juke whatever that move is if someone can even emphasize like I, I believe that's a foundational move if someone can give me give me some facts on that to tell me what that is um i know i know a lot of y'all will know but in general like he'll do a move and drop it it's it's reset heavy you get what i mean like he'll do a top rock then he'll go into something else then he'll play around with his movement per se but it's very structured like in segments i just keep seeing the 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 start of something the stop of something the start of something the stop of something but his transitions are all really well he'll even have moments where he just breaks away he'll do something and then like walk around like like it won't be something that carried him into something and he gravitates and it's continuous throughout the whole round but it started to make me think about is that even necessary you get what i mean like the reason why i was saying what he delivers is still a weapon is because i ideally he still won uh, so many battles that he's participated in and it's for a valid reason i feel like even if it's not something amongst the dance like the artistry of styles and like understanding the movement within these styles to develop it and take it to a place that that you are now able to connect with because you have your fundamentals so now you can explore and be more creative and all these other type of things i feel like his dance doesn't really utilize a lot of that it really doesn't it's more so along the lines of me seeing a combination of just different things and he just jumps between them while just adding different movement, whatever he wants to put in between it. But it's just like I said, more freestyle. However, it's still credible because of the way that he delivers it, his punchlines, or at least like the creative thought process in terms of like how he's still able to connect it to the music with the combination of moves. So it's, it's still something. However, it's just maybe not what we're accustomed to but just because it's not what we're accustomed to or maybe more specifically what i'm accustomed to i can't knock what i'm seeing to to look at that and say that that's not you know what i mean something that could be what we could use amongst the 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 people that we would have represent us would he be in my top five i don't know i i don't i still don't think he would be in my top five but he is someone that i could see as he has already been someone that could represent us and do a good job doing so uh amongst the uh, it, it just depends on how you view him if you view him just for the dance shit i feel like you won't really be able to connect if you're looking to see how he expands upon his vocabulary if you want to see like the fundamentals of styles if you want to see him actually commit to a style and use use an excessive amount of time to commit to that style um you probably won't really see that to, to my knowledge based on these videos but you will be able to get like i said the illusionary aspects good footwork 
uh, he has he has good timing within how he adds uh, his animation into the timing, like where he wants to accent certain space. If you give him some of those songs that are more like dubstep like or anything like that, like I'm pretty sure he'll fuck it up. But overall, I can see I can see why people rock with Schizo. Let me know specifically either if you got a favorite round or maybe they didn't cover it or, or more specifically, why do you rock with Schizo and would he be in your top five, maybe even top 10? But I can see him being a piece to what we would use to represent the U.S. I just feel like there's also a hell of a lot more dancers who are also more active. But it's again, this was more so something like insight for me to just see more Schizo's dance. So I'm actually I'm actually glad that I watched it. Let me know your thoughts, though, because I know y'all fuck with Schizo. You know what I mean? Let me know in the comment section. Get busy. The docs gonna see y'all when I see y'all. All right. Y'all be easy. Peace.